Hello boys, welcome back to another Mr. Iron Bar video. We are coming back temporarily from vacation to check out the new Araxor boss. So this boss originally came out in RuneScape 3. It is very different though, much easier version because this is a Slayer boss. But yeah, it drops the Nauseous Halberd, the new best in slot melee amulet, the Rancor, and a hybrid boots, the Arachnia boots. In the long term, I would love to green log this boss, but for now, I would probably just want to go for the Noxious Halberd. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long and love to show you guys how it works. But anyways, I got to prep some Slayer points because, yes, you have to be on a Slayer task to kill it. But anyways, enjoy today's video. going to show you some progress of me going for the weapon. And then, of course, you'll see some pretty cool tests, some really interesting finds and a lot of expected results as well man i'm trying to finish my task i got 10 more to go <laughs> so i decided the day before to go and try out some wilderness slayer because i do enjoy the points that you get and it's also learns keys but unfortunately it was way too packed with pkers like instantly i got attacked within like the first 10 minutes so i had to resort to Torio point boosting my next best thing Nice, there we go. At least we got 10 tasks away to 2800, which is going to be really, really good on the bonus points. Dang, I don't even know who the NPC contact anymore after Waka took sleep. Oh, okay, it's Aya. Ah, <laughs> so funny. Oh my god, it knows I'm right next to it. Check out this Blood Moon setup. I was going to use Missouri, but honestly, this thing's got that magic defense with the strain bonus too. So it's like perfect for these guys. I haven't used the Soul Reaper Axe in a while ah there we go hitting 80s there we go it's nice you can like switch weapons now using special and it doesn't reset the cooldown there you go oh look at that 500 points for the 100 this should be the big boy 2750 2850 nice 300 points gain 2000 points i think that's good enough Okay, before we go and do anything, there is the more eyes than senses. So that just increases the size. So we're going to definitely buy that. Oh, yes, we got it, boys. Hell yeah. All right, so we got the Sepulchre Telly going. Using the uh, long rope shortcut here. Oh, yeah, this is definitely the fastest way minus the, uh, the teleports you get from the boss. So that's cool. This is so much easier than the actual Araxor from the uh, original game. <laughs> I remember this thing would accidentally kill me because I, I would bounce it in the uh, original version. Oh, yeah, okay. I see, I see. That makes that makes a lot of sense. Okay, I'm going to move my cape over here then. Dang, this thing has so much HP though. Holy. Whoa, what was that? That was very interesting. That was like a special attack or something. Oh, okay, okay, that, okay. That 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 does a. Uh, I need to step away from it. Oh, I see. That attack, you just have to step away. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Wait, harvest. Cool. It's reminiscent of the uh, original. Okay. All right. So I can't actually one shot yet with the blister. So I need to bring like a range potion or something. Hmm, I wonder if this will hit the boss. Nope. Oh, it did. It hit the boss. Okay. That was sick. The red guy exploded and hit the boss. Oh, I killed it with the exploding spider. <laughs> nice. Okay. The vengeance reflected the damage back. So that was really good. Oh, new PB though. Sick. Oh, red spider eggs. Nice. Okay. We got a new way to get restores basically. Oh, that also works. Okay, bludgeon works on pretty much all the spiders, so that's good. Oh, wow, you can literally just run and do this. So that works pretty well. But eventually, you're going to run out of tile, so you're going to have to lower it. Ooh, Mortmire Fungus, good. That's for uh, super energy stamina, I guess. Oh, my God. Oops. No, that, I did not realize it hits that hard. Oh, look at this guy. He got the freaking pet. 
Whoa, I got the uh, Coagulate Phantom. What is that? Is that the... Oh, I guess that's just the PB. If you kill it fast enough, you get like the cosmetic to upgrade the pet, which I don't have. But yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that was a max scythe. I don't know what it was. No, I missed it. Oh, another Elite Clue. Hell yeah, dude. This place might be a good uh, Elite Clue farm. We'll see. I managed to get two elites so far in like 70 kills. Oh, four elite clues. Whoa, what is that? A Raxai head? Oh, wait, that's a Slayer Helm thing, isn't it? Summon Thrall. And we discharge. And we're going to drink a range pot here. Oh, wait. All right, this should one shot, I believe. Okay, yes, it does. Okay, we don't have to use Vengeance. Alright, we just hit 200 KC and I've gotten 5 elite clues and nothing else, so. Oh my god, another Arax I hit. <laughs> Alright, so we've done 233 kills today. Nothing crazy, none of the good stuff. Alright, we finished our first task. Struggled a bit. Oh! Yo, Noxious Point, let's f***ing go. Hell yeah, last kill of the, tr uh, of the task, more like it. <laughs> Uh, we got something. 262. Wait, is that like... Yeah, that's probably one piece of the uh, halberd, so... Alright, the rack sword. So this is what it's looking like. So we need to get the noxious blade and the noxious pommel, and we can finish this. Oh, we got it! Let's go! Patience! You know, we did a few, few of those quick tasks, and still managed to keep our points looking decent here. But yeah, nice. Second rack sight. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, I saw that. It, it hit itself there. I'm not Whoa! Jar of Venom! Oh, no! The collection logging. Oh, Noxious Blade! Oh, my God. Let's go! We're two out of three. Two out of three? Wait, that's the blade, right? That's for the Halbert. Yes, two out of three. Let's go. Oh, I'm doing it. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, I just did it completely. That was sick. Jagex has confirmed that it is a bug, but they are going to let it stay, but they're going to modify it. So right now, it only works on the four southwest tiles that's under the boss, but they're going to make it so that you can do it under the boss on any side regardless but the damage that it inflicts on itself is going to be like half so instead of 30 it's like 15. oh i got it oh, i finished in halbert oh my god three 374 holy shit in one day technically or literally literally one day oh my god i actually finished it okay that's that's the thing i wanted first holy that is crazy well i'm gonna make this halberd in a second here and uh, we're gonna have some fun with it so here's the overall log looking pretty good 375 jar and the halberd completed and of course the fang and the pet the fang is really nice for the best in slot melee amulet upgrade but we'll look for that in the future do we just like do this add them together oh do you wish you combine all three pieces to create a noxious halberd. The process is not reversible. Hell yeah. Heck yes. Ooh, there it is. I also gotta say thanks to the boys on the YouTube, the Twitch, and in the French chat. All right. So look at the stats here. Uh, it is base speed of three seconds, which is five takes. So it's like a rune crossbow, like a scythe, you know, twist the bow kind of deal. But its base stats is really good. 80 stab, uh, especially the slash, you know, it's mainly a slash weapon. 132. Damn. Of course, two handed as well. But it's effectively almost like a blade of Saldor with, I guess, a Fernic. Except this thing is four ticks, right? So it's a lot faster. But yeah, it makes up for it by having a much higher strength bonus, of course, and higher accuracy. So yeah, 142 versus 97, basically. All right, Jar of Venom. We're going to add this to... Ooh, that looks sick. Look at this. Okay, we're going to try the Halberd at a few places. First thing I want to talk about regarding how to use this Halberd 
is something that is very nostalgic. For a lot of us veteran players that played RuneScape in the early 2000s, a lot of us probably AFK'd a lot of Slayer with the Rune or Dragon Halberd, just because you can say spot things and you can pop up a show. Like for me, I used to watch a lot of like anime, like Naruto. I would just AFK my ass off at a bunch of Slayer tasks with the Dragon Halberd. And it was very inefficient, but who cares back then? You know, we didn't care about uh, DPS and things like that. But of course, nowadays we do. Nowadays, nobody really does that anymore, but the Noxious Halberd is here. We can actually do what we used to do, and it's pretty worth it because you're effectively killing things at the rate of a Blade of Saldor or a Whip. You can get some good melee XP AFK without needing prayer potions for a bunch of different tasks like demons, greater black demons, uh, a lot of dragons, um, things like fire giants, the classic spot. There are so many other Slayer tasks that you can use the Noxious Halberd with, so knock yourself out, have some fun with it like the old days. Yes, baby, the era of slaying with a halberd is back. Try out some Vardorvis, some Duke, probably some Fight Caves, a little bit of Inferno, uh, some Tob, you know, some of the more relevant slash places or places where you might want to melee. Well, at least it's five takes, so I'm used to that. You know, same as me using a uh, Sobibrax. Ooh, I can hit a 60 with it, though. That's really good. That's really cool. Dang. And that wasn't my max hit, apparently. Okay, 131. First kill. Oh, 65. Oh, my God. Huh. All right, that's my one of my max hits, but with the Bellator. So I'm guessing it's like a 66 with the altar. Okay, 130. That was my fastest. Incredibly consistent times here. The accuracy is definitely, like, noticeable. All right, we did a, a whole trip. It says uh, my kills per hour, if I wasn't banking, is like 34 kills an hour. So it's probably more like 30 kills an hour with the banking. So definitely not as good as Scythe or Soul Reaper, because I was getting, I want to say 35 with that. So this is probably more like 31 or so. But yeah, still really good. It's only a little bit worse than, you know, the best weapons here. So definitely matching a Blade of Saldor level here. I would say definitely a good alternative if you have uh, no play of Saldor or none of the you know better stuff. All right, boys. Next up is Duke with the Halber. My guess is it's probably just gonna be mostly the same as the play of Saldor. So, oh, it drags me out. Okay, so the theory that you can hit this from the pillar doesn't work. First kill was oh, actually it's a two two eighteen. Eh, it's okay. Oh my god, 74. Alright, I think uh, this thing will be absolutely getting destroyed. Holy, there we go. We're landing some big hits now. Oh my god. This is a crazy time. <clears throat> Whatever it is. This will be an incredible time. Okay. Alright, that was some insane RNG, boys. We got a 126, but that was definitely insane RNG. No, no, no joke. We were hitting like 50s and 60s nonstop and a massive BGS spec. So that's probably the fastest I'll get. God damn, 126. Yeah, you got to like make sure you do not accidentally go out here because if you go out here and you hit the boss, you stay here. So that means it's going to mage you. So. Kill times wise, so far we had a 128 uh, and the slowest was a 240. So I reckon that's probably what you guys would be getting, right? Like a 240 occasionally with the blade. Some people have asked about Corporal Beast with the Noxious Halberd. So I didn't require any clips, but I'll just quickly talk about it. So I ran uh, some quick DPS calculations. And effectively, if you are going to do the chicken corp method, which means you spec the boss all the way to zero so you practically afk the boss it will actually beat the zamrakin spear it's also really close to the shadow dps with this method however if you're not doing the zero stat method and you're doing the fang method it definitely won't be that just because not specking down the boss saves a lot of time 
Let's do this. Going to try out a top or two. We're going to main hand the halberd. Mainly at bloat. Uh, Nilo king, I guess. So to say. And sharpest. And of course, maiden. So. All right. We can hit about 65 max with the halberd. Oh, there we go. I hit a 63. But it's not going to compare to a scythe, though. You know, the scythe can hit like 80s and like 70s. No problem. So. Oh, 73, though. Oh, shit. We two downed it, but these guys have sights, though, so. I don't think the Halberd did really anything too impressive, though. It's probably a bit worse than a Blade of Saldor. Or, like, a yeah. Here. Just because you probably want some faster attacking weapons. All right, Halberd, go. All right, well, at least you can still do two hits. No problem. Yeah, not bad. Feels not bad here because you're hitting really hard for the time you have available, so. You could kind of do this, but I don't recommend it because it's definitely generally better to be melee distance to reduce the amount of balls that will spawn. But it should be pretty decent here because this guy's tanky. You can't lower his defense to zero, so. Once again, more of a Blade of Saldor vibes. <laughs> That's really interesting. If I do a 5 take with a Howley, I can actually do it from far away like this. Like, watch, watch, I can do this. <laughs> I don't actually run into the poison, so I take a little less poison damage. Does it really matter? Not really, but... Like, you can do this. On the take that you would have taken the, the poison if you were going for the 5 take method. Oh, look at that. We're just attacking one tile earlier. That's kind of cool. It makes it more safe, I guess. Watch this. We don't ever have to dance. Okay, there we go. Watch this. So, Ideally, you probably want to mark some tiles or something. Yeah, you can just do this. Oh, yeah. Also, the Noxious Halper is poisonous, right? So it instantly kills the Purple Crab. All right, watch this, guys. We're going to... Oops. We're going to delete the uh, Purple Crab. Well, we got to hit it first, though. But yeah, there you go. Purple crab deleted. Wait, P2 tanking is going to be really interesting. Because I, I can just keep doing this, I guess. No way, you're not dead. Nice, that was good. Yeah, the, uh, the Noxious Halley definitely puts in some good work, boys. Good old Blef Salder level? Yeah, definitely. Oh, there we go. All right, we're going to try out some melee, mostly melee fight caves. One of the coolest things about the Noxious Halberd is, of course, that plus one attack range, just like the Dragon Halberd or the Crystal Halberd, except it's actually good DPS without the special. And this makes it incredibly good for certain combat achievements that are considered some of the more harder ones for things like the fight caves, the Jad challenges, and the Inferno. Let's talk about a specific one, like a fight case, right? There's one task where you have to melee the entire thing. And this task can be pretty challenging because without the Noxious Halberd and doing it normally with like any other melee weapon, you have to get close and personal. So for example, the major minion, it can hit like 40s and 50s with both melee and magic. So if you're not flinching it properly, then you will take a chance at taking a lot of damage. Now, you don't have to do that at all with the Noxious Halberd because you can literally stand one tile away and it'll only ever mage you. So you just pray mage the whole time you're chilling. And same for Jad. You don't have to get close and personal. You don't have to worry about putting on pray melee and stuff like that. You just, again, go one tile away and all you gotta do is worry about the mage and range prayers just like if you were ranging it. So it's super nice. And of course, the good DPS will make all of those monsters go down pretty quick. Yeah, on some of these harder waves, there's some good strats like this. Using the blobs to block the big melee guy and then use the hopper. We can use the 360 as obstacle to block the melee guy. And uh, yeah, just technically range it with the halberd. So there you go. Lowers the fence. Okay, here we go. Wow, BGS, you suck. It's okay. I'm just going to do this now. Now we're just going to... Albert and yeah that's it we don't have to worry about his melee attack we just chill with the prayer all right so if you were to do the melee jab this is what it would look like right you would just kind of 
make sure you uh, give a wide berth here when you tag these guys. All right, there we go. I guess we're good now. Hectic, but not nearly as hectic as being right next to the boss with the uh, another melee weapon. So yeah, this is how you would do it with the melee CA. All right, let's show you guys what it's like with multiple jads. So there are some melee only jad challenges and the combat achievements for the inferno is also melee only there we go now we just uh, do this and we should be good definitely recommend lawyer's defense at the start all right now we uh do the tagging of the jads and uh remember why birth try not to oh like you know oh i just took a mage shit ah oh, don't kill me Okay, we're good. I tanked one hit, but that's why you want to be 120 plus HP, so you don't accidentally get one shot. I also set up the healers really well. Only one of them can hit me, so we're like cruising. Much easier. Holy. Like, I haven't done this in a long time, and yeah, it still worked pretty amazing. We got some people on the live stream asking about Coliseum. I'll give it a quick spin, just see how it feels, and yeah, if there's anything out of the ordinary, you'll you'll know about it. It's a five tick weapon, so it's really nice because you can match the attack speed of most of these enemies because they're mostly just five ticks. You can also do stuff like this, which I already know, but I think myopia is gonna f it over, though. So if you get myopia one, you can't even do this anymore. So be careful. Oh, shit. Okay, let's test myopia. Let's see what happens if we take myopia, guys. Oh, yeah. Myopia fucks it up. Dang. Okay, so just pretend that the halberd's attack range doesn't even matter. All right? Just pretend it doesn't even exist. And to be honest with you, it doesn't really matter. The extra long range ability is not even that useful. Unlike fight caves where things can melee you, like this guy, this ranger here, it can't even melee me anyway. So it doesn't even matter. And honestly, it could fuck you up at the soul boss. Because, like, being at the exact place, instead of getting, like, dragged and stuff, could be could actually be bad. And the Noxious Scythe works pretty well on pretty much everything so far. Hopefully I have enough prayers. But we still remember how to flick it, so that's good. Alright, we made it somewhat, somehow. Yeah, thank god we have myopia, so it's not gonna troll it. So it's gonna perfectly drag us back. Nice, so far so good. One HP, bro, just just die. Yeah, what? Okay, I was about to say. It's definitely not as fast as using the scythe, but um, I think I'm more impressed I actually managed to do this. The Noxious Hopper works pretty good at this boss and overall the Coliseum. I had no trouble really hitting any of the monsters with it. Last thing is just to check out the special attack. This one is a really interesting special. It's called Virulence. Instantly metabolize any poison you are suffering from to buff your next attack by that amount of damage. So basically, let's say I have 20 poison or venom, I guess. I use the spec, it takes it away. And my next hit is going to be a guaranteed minimum of 20. So it's a funny spec because you probably don't want to be poisoned to that degree ever. But you can use it twice, like every five minutes or so. I can only think of maybe Vorkath because uh, it has decent stab. And Vorkath with the stab. And it can venom you. But let's say you're an Iron Man or something. So let's say you don't have the Lance, you have the Halberd. This, this could be a decent option if you're going to kill Vorkath. I guess I can hit 70s with the Noxious Halber, but certainly the lands can also hit basically the same, except 25% faster. Alright guys, let's use the spec right now, guys. Ooh, nice. I, I took away my poison, as you can see, and it uh, guarantees a 12, but I guess there was a success roll, so we, we wouldn't really know, but just gotta trust, trust it. Ah, oh, but the problem is the spec kind of gets in the way because like I normally want to use something like a Bandos God Sword, right, to lower his defense, but yeah, it kind of gets in the way. So yeah, this special attack definitely needs some work. I feel like it's just not too useful. Like you're gonna take damage building up your poison. In summary, the Noxious Halberd is pretty good. I think a lot of people will enjoy this. 
it is practically a blade of saldor for iron man it's probably easier to get than a uh, blade of saldor so that's definitely a good option very good for a bunch of different pvm different cas really good for afk slayer i believe it will fit a lot of different types of players needs so yeah go ahead and check it out pretty affordable weapon as well i've also seen it being pretty good for pk as well so anyways thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video